Obviously, color is one of the most important things. You know, people want the image on the monitor to reflect what is accurate, you know, based on what, what the camera they're using and what color space they're working in. So with the DP7 having an OLED panel with having this enormous gamut that it has, um, it made obviously made sense to take advantage of that, not just making it accurate, but making it extensible as well as, you know, configurable to other color spaces that, you know, it could actually approach because of its enormous gamut. The response we've had in regard to the color of the DP7 out of the box has been really amazing. In, in fact, we've said that people have pulled it out and have had to recalibrate their other monitors to, to try to match what we've, what we've been able to provide, which is a huge, a huge deal for us, you know, as we're learning this whole color science as we move small HD forward. So that's, that's been really good to hear. Our products up to this point um, have not had the color capabilities that the DP7 has, and we really wanted to show that we had the prowess, you know, to deliver. Uh, a premium color experience and with the DP7 now I mean the response has been it looks amazing out of the box it's matching my $14,000 you know Sony OLED monitors and uh, without having to do any adjustments to it um, you know we're using a very sophisticated uh, color engine that we've developed proprietarily um, to, to accomplish that goal and it's, it's doing a great job. Every shooter knows that they're gonna pass their footage on to someone else who's going to edit and color grade that footage and most color graders have a color accurate display sitting on their desktop that's usually um, calibrated to Rec. 709, which is a standard. And so the fact that the DP7 Pro provides perfect Re Rec. 709 reproduction um, and has that calibration built in, you, you know that what you're looking at is what they're going to see. The most enjoyable thing about color on the DP7 is that, like I said before, we have such a huge gamut on the DP7 and we really, really wanted to design a system that could take advantage of it. And so what's really fun is that, yeah, we can do Rec. 709 perfectly, um, but we can also do DCI P3 almost perfectly um, in a seven inch field monitor, which has never been done before. And where that really comes into play is later down the road, um, pretty, pretty shortly actually, when we actually get to start doing creative things with that, like applying lookup tables to it and really stretching things around within those color spaces and um, providing accurate representations of what a look might do to your raw footage that your you know, cinema cameras are sending to the DP7 and things like that. So it's the elasticity um, of the color that we get um, with not just the panel being what it is, but also our color engine being what it is. And when you combine those two things, you basically get this kind of limitless playground of color um, to use and, and so it's exciting today because it's accurate but it's really exciting tomorrow and beyond with what we're going to actually do with it.